So question seven, what is the arrangement of nucleotides in a single DNA strand? So sugar, phosphate group, and organic base. So it should be sugar, phosphate, and nitrogenous base, right? Sugar, phosphate, nitrogenous base. Sugar, phosphate, nitrogenous base. This one looks correct, right? Okay, because the backbone is a sugar, phosphate backbone. So this is the nucleotide. The base must point to the side, right? So the backbone is sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate backbone. So A looks correct. B definitely is wrong. C is definitely wrong. D is definitely wrong. So the answer is A. Okay, arrangement of sugar and phosphate. Okay, what is the next question? Question 33. In the DNA sequence for sickle cell anemia, adenine replaces thymine in a CTT triplet. So it means in CTT, <clears throat> uh, it's the T in the center is replaced by A. So this is called... um. Substitution, right? Substitution. During synthesis of sickle cell hemoglobin molecule, the amino acid valine is incorporated instead of glutamic acid. So that means originally CTT codes for glutamic acid, but now CAT codes for valine. This amino acid called valine. So the question asks, what is the anticodon in the tRNA molecule carrying this valine. Okay, so this is a DNA, right? So that means to say in my DNA, I have the bases now already mutated become CAT. So this is C, C, A, T. Okay, so this is my DNA. And this is the template strand. Of course, DNA got two strands, right? So this DNA is my template strand. So template strand. Okay, so from DNA, then of course, we will transcribe into mRNA. So mRNA will have, hang on, correct. Okay, mRNA. Now T is only found in DNA. Eh? So mRNA, so C, can you tell me CAT code for what? Vincent? CAT codes for what? Um, wait, let me check. C pair with? A, T, G. G, very good. So C pair with G, A pair with? Um, this one is RNA, so it should be U. U, very good. And U are T pair with? A. A, okay, very good. So this one will be found in the mRNA. Right, because it's RNA, so instead of T is a U, so mRNA. So now the question asks the student, so what about the anticodon? Because this one here is the codon, which we call it triplet codon. Right? What about this tree in, in the DNA? This tree in the DNA, what do we call them? Um, Hania? What do you call this tree? Sure, are you asking for the GUA? C-A-T. Oh, that's the so you code, code on. Code, code. Code, code. It's a triplet code, right? Triplet code, very good. Code is found in the, original code is in the DNA. So original code, right? After a transcription in the mRNA, it's called codon, triplet codon. So now in tRNA, so tRNA must form complementary base pair with mRNA, right? So the anticodon of tRNA should be complementary to GUA. So complementary to GUA, what, what is it, Shifa? So I'm looking at my tRNA now. Okay, so what is my anticodon of the tRNA, Shifa? Yeah. Okay, so give me the bases. C. Very good. A. And you. You, very good. C A U. Okay. So this is the triplet um anticodon. Sorry, this is the anticodon. So let's type it here. Anticodon of the 
Tiane. Now, if you want to do a shortcut, actually, there's a way for you to do a shortcut. You all can see, right? Now, because mRNA is right in the center, center between the DNA and tRNA. So this GUA must be complementary with CAT and CAU, okay? So therefore, which means to say that the basis of the tRNA must be similar to the basis of the DNA because both of them are complementary with GUA, okay? So therefore, the only difference is that, okay, if it's RNA, instead of T, is a U. So instead of T, it is a U in RNA. So other than that, the rest are the same. So that's why you see in the DNA template strand is CAT. In the tRNA anticodon is also CA, but cannot be T because this is a RNA. So in RNA, instead of T, is a U. So therefore, this is another shortcut that you can see. Whatever the DNA template code for, the triplet, uh, the anticodon will be the same basis except for instead of T is a U. Okay, so this is a shortcut. Now, what is the next question? Understood, very good. Uh, 31, so let's look at 31. 31, so which structural feature of the DNA molecule varies? Which structural feature of the DNA molecule varies? So that means I have different DNA molecules. Huh? If I say that this DNA is different from that DNA, what exactly is it in DNA that can make them different? Is it the arrangement of the sugar phosphate groups? No. The arrangement of sugar phosphate backbone is always sugar phosphate and the sugar for DNA is always deoxyribose sugar. So not, nothing changes. Phosphate is also phosphate. So the sugar phosphate, uh, sorry, is, you must start with phosphate first. Huh? Phosphate sugar, phosphate sugar backbone is always the same. Whether uh, it is this DNA or that DNA, right? Because this is the basic structure of the DNA. Okay. So A is wrong. B, the double helical arrangement of DNA is always the same. It's five prime to three prime direction. And um, it's anti-parallel, right? So this, this is five prime. This is three prime. The complementary strand must be five prime and three prime. So it's always, this property is called anti-parallel. Give, give me the word, anti-parallel. Okay, anti-parallel. So it's always the same for all the DNA molecule. So this is not the difference. C, the order of bases on a single nucleotide chain. Huh? The order of bases on a single nucleotide chain. That means to say, I'm looking at a single polynucleotide chain, huh? So the order of bases can be different, right? Why DNA, why the genes are different? Genes are different because they've got different base sequences, right? How come different DNA are different? Because they've got, number one, different base sequences. Number two, different lengths. Different lengths, okay? Mm, number three, probably different centromere position, right? Some of them very near to the and some of them right in the middle, all right? So the only difference between DNA is either the length, right? Because you've got, remember we have looked at our chromosomes, right? How many? 48, okay? And they're all arranged according to the length from the um, longest to the shortest one, all right? So DNA are different in terms of the length, uh, base sequences. And also maybe centromere position. Centromere position is more for chromosome. Okay, for more for chromosome. All right, so the answer looks like C. Now let's look at D. The pairing of purines with pyrimidine is always applicable for all the DNA. Purine must pair with pyrimidine. So D is correct, but so this is not the differences. So the only difference between DNA is because of C. So answer is C. Okay, All right. So can we do number 30? Um, yes, we can do number 30. We have not done this yet. So number 30, which uh, diagram shows the bond linking the individual units of a nucleic acid? 
So that means they're asking you the phosphodiester bond, correct? Because they are the one that link the individual unit means the nucleotide, the monomer. Okay, individual units here means the monomer of the nucleic acid, which is actually the nucleotide. So what is the what is the bond that hold the nucleotides together? The phosphodiester bond. So that means phosphodiester bond. There must be where is my P? Uh, this is a P here. You see or not? But they didn't draw this to know. Right? They didn't draw. They leave it empty. Leave it empty means what? There could be bonds that they didn't show. So this is a phosphoester bond, P-O-O-R, right? And then another phosphoester bond, right? P-O-O-R. So this is a phosphodiester bond. So the answer is C, phosphodiester bond. Okay, so number 30 is C. All right? Okay, any more question for this uh, MCQ? If no more, then we will go to chapter 7. No more? Huh? Okay, thank you. No more.